Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I'm using the Altenew Shadow Play set. It's kind of an old set. I love it. I've used it several times. I'm going to use an acrylic block to create a background for my bicycle. My blocks are really, really dirty and this is how I clean them. I just use these little alcohol wipes and you can see I have to scrub it quite a bit, but look at how much dirt comes off. It's actually pretty gross. But anyway, I've got one side clean. The other one's dirty, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the one side. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to first cover the top with fossilized amber. And these pigment inks are great because you can see exactly how much coverage you're getting. So I'm making sure that the acrylic block is really covered with that ink. Now I'm going to take spiced marmalade and cover the bottom and I'm going to overlap them just a little bit. I started with the lighter color so I wouldn't have any issues with contamination. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add a tiny little bit of the Lucky Clover at the bottom, almost like a grass it's going to be. It's actually going to be sort of an implied grass because these uh, colors are all going to be blended nicely together. All right, you can see how little I put at the very bottom. Now, if you're worried about getting orange on the green, you can just rub it off on a scratch paper and you can tell that the orange comes right off on that second swipe. Now, I'm going to spritz this with water. I spritzed it twice. Now, the first time I did this, I spritzed it probably three or four times. And you'll see that it's better to spritz it a little bit more. Uh, because when I picked it up, it's actually a little bit too dry, so it's very spotty. Now I went ahead and you know tried to press down a few more times. Now what I should have done, and I only realized this as I was watching the video, is I should have spritzed my block again and then put it back down on the paper, but I just didn't think to do that. So instead, I'm going to take a brush and some water, and I'm just going to put some water on here, and it'll blend these colors just fine. It looked really nice, and actually maybe even have been better because um, I got a little bit of water staining, which added a little more interest. This paper is Canson XL Mixed Media Paper. It's just a really thin, bright white watercolor paper. All right, now I'm going to add some splatters. I'm going to use fossilized amber, just using a flat brush, adding some water, and just tapping it above just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Gonzai Tombi Black Palette, which is what I use all the time for my black splatters, because they leave really dark splatters, and they're almost shiny when they dry. So I'm going to pick this up and show you the light splattering of the paint. I let that dry completely before moving on to my stamping. I'm using Versamark Black Onyx Ink. And I'm using a stamp majig because with this bicycle and the shadow, I want to make sure that they are lined up exactly. And I also want to make sure my bicycle is running along the bottom edge of my box. So to make sure that I got it exactly correct, I'm using the stamp majig. So I prep the sheet and now I'm going to stamp my bicycle here. I'm going to press all the way down, all the way up, straight up and down works best. Then I prepped my sheet with the shadow and I'm going to make sure my tires of the bicycle are just barely touching on both of them. I'll stamp that down and then I just sort of free handed the bird on the seat. I'm using a sentiment from the Sketchy Rose set just because it was just the perfect size and I'm going to keep it inside my block area in the upper right hand corner. Since my shadow is in the front, I thought it'd be interesting to have the bicycle also be completely black because um, it kind of would look sort of black if the sun was behind it. So I took a Stampin' Up marker, the fine tip, and I very carefully colored in the entire image. Um, it took me maybe about three minutes. I'm using a Zig watercolor marker for the bird. This is Carmine Red because it has a very, very fine tip and this bird is pretty small. After that, I trimmed this to four and an eighth by five and three eighths so that I would have one sixteenth of an inch mat all the way around this watercolor panel. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight as my card base, so I've cut it to the A2 size and folded. And then I'm going to put some Tombow Mono Multi Glue on the back of my watercolor. And I find that this completely flattens out any warped areas that you have on your watercolor cardstock, especially since this Canson XL is very thin. And so it kind of takes the form of my card base. Now I'll put a block on here and let it dry for a few minutes. And that is the card for today. So kind of a simple looking card, but I think it's really effective with that shadow. I love this stamp set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.